Oh my God, I've got hair. <laughs> Go, I haven't got time for you. Go. Oh my God. Okay. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is all about educational beauty. Today's video is a timed 10 minute makeup look. It was a bit of a challenge and well, you're just gonna have to keep watching to see if we actually managed to do it and how good the makeup look actually looks. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. You can also catch me over on Instagram where you can watch my stories for some daily beauty news and just what I get up to when I'm not filming for YouTube. Now let's head straight into the video. Okay, so this is all about how to do makeup in 10 minutes. Now, I'm gonna be honest, for a lot of people, 10 minutes is like, wow, if I could have 10 minutes in the morning to just to dedicate to makeup, that's huge. But for me, 10 minutes, what on earth can I get done in 10 minutes? So for me, it's quite a challenge, and I really wanna show you what I can get done in 10 minutes, and sometimes, unfortunately, I do only have 10 minutes, sometimes less, and that's where I just think, give it up. There's just nothing you can do, there's no point. But anyway, I wanted to show you what I can get done in 10 minutes. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and be like okay talk about each product because realistically when I've got 10 minutes in the morning I'm not talking 21 for a start and secondly I'm not looking at what I'm using I'm just grabbing whatever I kind of have so that's exactly how I'm going to do it today otherwise it just wouldn't be realistic would it and you wouldn't really see how I would get makeup done in 10 minutes we are going to let's see I'm going to just put it on my phone so that we can put the timer on okay so I've already obviously got my moisturizer and stuff done because that's sometimes realistic on a day-to-day -day basis I don't do that in my studio, I do that in the bathroom. So my skincare goes on there and then I come in and I just kind of do my makeup here. So I am going to get started. I'm really nervous about this because I'm like, oh my God, what if it doesn't happen in 10 minutes? Okay, so let's go. Starting the clock now. Okay, we're gonna go in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just gonna kind of buff this in after I've applied it. I'm gonna just grab my beauty blender here and just slightly Buff this in. I'll tell you what I spend longer on. My brows. So that's a that's cause for concern in this video. But let's see how it goes. Okay, done that enough. I'll tell you one thing I've realized over time is do not keep trying to perfect it. I could sit there all all day and make sure it's kind of buffed in and you know, you just need to get on with it. So I've got my banana powder banana powder. I've got my banana powder. See, I'm not used to talking when I'm actually doing 10 minute makeup and I've just buffed it into my eyelids. Let's get that done. I'm quite interested to see how long that took me. Oh, that took me less than a minute. Not bad just for the eyelids. I thought I'd spend a few minutes there. Okay, so we've done the eyelid. This is where I start faffing around because I'm like, oh my God, I just stare at things and I'm like, I've just waited two, three minutes. So I'm just going to go straight in with my concealer and do that on my under eyes here. I'm not gonna apply it anywhere else. And I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender. I'm just gonna buff this in. And, oh God. See, like, I like spending time buffing. But you know, sometimes you can't do that. Let's be honest, right? I'm not aiming for like 10 minute makeup to be full on flawless. I'm aiming for my makeup to look as good as it can based on the fact that, oh my God, I've got like crap in my eye. Uh, based on the fact that, you know, it's taking 10 minutes. I'm just gonna like spread that out into other areas that I know maybe I need a bit of helping hand. Okay, that's done. Now what I'm gonna do is get my foundation. I'm currently using the Neo Nude foundation from Giorgio Armani, and it's amazing. And let me just, I'm just gonna spread that over the back of my hand. Now I'm gonna get my brush. This is my, um, what do you call it? <laughs> what do you call it? This is my um, Makeup Forever brush, I'll put it on the screen because I really don't want to spend a minute looking at what it's called. So I'm literally just kind of like buffing this into my skin. I really do love this foundation by the way because I feel like it's just 
my skin still looks like skin and I'll tell you what the worst thing is, you know when you have like only 10 minutes to get ready, is if you use a full coverage foundation. I know a lot of people would think, okay, I've got 10 minutes, let me just use everything full coverage because the best, you know, let me get as much coverage as I can within that 10 minutes. Not necessarily always the best idea because you can end up looking like full on cake face and not in a good way. So you're always better looking a bit more natural if you haven't got much time. So that's my suggestion. Oh my God, I've got hair. <laughs> go, I haven't got time for you, go. Oh my God. Okay, so yeah, there you go. Foundation is spread everywhere. Oh my God, I can feel a hair on my face. Don't do this to me. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is before I, oh, I can feel it there. Where is it gone? Oh my God. Oh, it's gone. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and I'm just applying a bit of extra concealer here because I feel like it's kind of like, Disappear, not disappeared, but you know, I just feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage. So no harm in going back in if you feel that you need it. Okay, I'm gonna go to my powder, get that in my hand, and I just realized that I actually wanted to apply some blush. So I'm gonna do that now actually. So, oh, way too much there. That's it. Oh, I feel like that's a bit much. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with another sponge and just basically Buff that in. That was a rare beauty blush, by the way. Wow, that's a pretty strong blush. Oh my God. Why have I not tried this blush before? What is going on? Please don't do this to me. Okay. I am just gonna get that brush again. You know, the one that I applied the foundation with. I'm just gonna like, just lightly go over this because that was that was crazy i use the other one called bliss usually and it's really nice but this is nice too but still it's like a lot of pigment okay let me just get rid of these creases here let me see how long that's taken me <gasps> i've got four minutes left less than four minutes okay right all I do now, I get my big puff brush, get my powder, go everywhere on top. Buff it in. Now I get my real techniques and I'm gonna dust away this. Powder on my under eyes. Okay. Let's get the brow pencil, and this is where I really need to stop myself because I could continue for ages. Draw a few hairs, make it look a bit natural. But you know, ultimately I need to just make sure I fill it in and I get the shape right. Sometimes I do my brows super quick when I haven't got enough time. You know, like this, like what I'm gonna do. And I have hardly really focused on them, like trying to get it perfect, because I have a problem with trying to achieve kind of like symmetrical. I just have, I just spend too much time on it. And then sometimes, like I don't spend that much time on it, and then I go out and I'm like, wow, my brows look really good today. But I just don't know what I did other than really rush it. So maybe it's just less product. Okay. Come on, come on, we can do it, guys. Like, cause usually, obviously, if I've only got like 10 minutes or not very long, I'll be honest, I'm still late <laughs> because of it. I think that's about enough. I think that's okay. I mean, I know I could easily keep going, but we're gonna leave it at that. So next, what I'm gonna do is just apply some lip I'm gonna apply my lip maximizer. Lip liner. But just kind of like feather it inwards. That's it. 
Now I'm gonna get my uh, what do you call these? <laughs> Lash curlers. Okay, gonna apply a little bit of mascara. And as long as you look, use a good mascara, like this hourglass one is awesome. It's really good. And I'm just gonna use my Sunstalker bronzer, go in with this. And this is usually what I do to finish my face off. Because this kind of like really finishes it off for me. Oh, the buffing has really gone out the window today. <laughs> it's just full on drag mode. Okay, now I'm gonna just grab a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna get my Luminous Silk Highlight from Armani because it's just really natural and it's nice. And you know what? Got a little bit of time, lower lashes. Thirty seconds, guys. Whoa! I think I have done pretty well. I mean, like I said, if I've got ten minutes, it's never on a timer, right? So I'll probably push it a bit, and I'm late usually. And basically, I'm gonna just get. Oh my god, have I got time? Yeah, a little bit on this brush of my bronzer. Can't go out without a contoured nose. <gasps> we're done time was going off and can you believe it we have let's stop that done really proud of myself so okay if i move as fast as that the problem is is when i only have like 10 minutes in the mornings i'm probably still trying to wake up you know so it's very different <laughs> like i'm fully awake right now uh yeah as you can see, we've got that nice sculpting, we've got a bit of mascara, and I actually feel quite comfortable going out with this, and my brows look fine, they're kind of like done enough. Yeah, I am really, really impressed with how much makeup, like I've put on a full face basically. I really do hope that you take that into, in, like, take that into consideration what I said, that sometimes when you don't have enough time, don't always go for the full coverage stuff, thinking, oh, let me just cover up as much as I can in this short amount of time, because it doesn't always work that way, because what happens, it ends up looking really cakey, doesn't look nice i'd much rather just look like more of a natural look if i haven't got much time to do anything crazy this for me is perfect that foundation one of the best foundations i've used for a natural look literally love this foundation and i love the fact that you can get different shades in it so it's not just like a you know like a few shades it's the neo nude true to skin natural glow foundation i love it so i still put powder over it but obviously later on in the day it just gives you a really nice look and someone who's like super close up to me isn't going to be like whoa you've got so much foundation on i'm really glad that i've managed to do this in 10 minutes and now my husband's probably watching this thinking mm, you have no excuse now but all i can say is i love a full glam and if i've got an hour to spend on that boy can i create an amazing look so this is great for like 10 minutes but you know i still love my full glam face so i really do hope you've enjoyed this and i hope this kind of gives you an indication into what you can do in 10 minutes well, there you go. I think we did pretty well, right? Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And don't forget, all the products that I used are listed in my description box below. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.